great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Vanderbilt Commodores and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Number 21 is a star whose team hopes he can take them to victory tonight. He loves to use his superior foot speed to catch guys off guard, Brad. He may be young, but he's smart enough to know his strengths on offense. The Razorbacks will clearly rely on him to make contributions on both ends of the floor. The Razorbacks know this isn't going to be an easy one. What's the key for them tonight, Dick? Hey, the keys for them tonight are simple. First of all, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Second, don't allow any good looks from beyond New York. Challenge every shot. Lastly, get the ball inside for the high percentage shot. That'll open up the outside game as well. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action, see what's in store for us. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. The shooting guard receives the pass. He dials long distance. He hits the shot. They go into the low block. Number 51, pump fakes. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And up and makes it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Gave it up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Picks up the foul. First team foul. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. And we'll go to the free throw line. The second shot. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Looking for a good shot. Daniel handles the pass. There's a high screen. Blocks it. And the ball goes out of play. You're talking about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Post flasher is open. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Stewart receives the ball. Ten on the shot clock. Let's it fly. Gets it to go. Number three is feeling good. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. High post screen. He'll visit the charity strike. Makes the first shot. Post flashes in the paint. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. From beyond the arc. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's a one-man show at the moment. He can't help his teammates. Side. There's a bad pass right to the defender. 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He shoots from the elbow. Off the rim and no good. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The ball goes out of bounds. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. He launches a three. Way off target. Well, handles the feed. Trying to feed the low block. On the top of the circle. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. On the inside. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. And he'll kick it back outside. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Basically. Ten seconds to get it off. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The skip pass is picked off. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotating over. The defense moves so slowly. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. There's a double team waiting there. In and out. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Now trying to feed the low block. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. They look like they're having a blast. Controlling the ball. In the paint. Trying to draw the foul. And they come with a double team to stop it. He throws it up from downtown. Off the rim and no good. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Got it. He draws a foul. Set up looking for contact. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Gave it up. The rejection and the ball goes out of bounds. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. High post player flashing. Number 51 is whistled for the foul. Third team foul.
outside. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. There was no doubt about that one. They work the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. Good job defensively. Applying lots of pressure, Brad, and looking for the steal as well. How do you keep the man sealed on that double team, Dick? Not like that, Brad. They really got to be active. Active hands, active feet. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. Long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Gave it up. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? There's the block. Sinks the shot. Here it is. Spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks up there. Yeah, that helps. We get another look. For one, Dick, I'd like to see the hometown crowd get into this one. Well, the crowd will have to be behind their team for the entire game. They can and should make the difference. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, during practice, he shared with me he puts so much pressure on himself. He knows he needs to lead his team in many statistical categories in order to get his teammates rolling. We'll continue to monitor his performance throughout the rest of the way. for the steal in the post and he missed it Dick. Oh I'll tell you one thing what a poor job defensively he gambled. On the outside he shoots from long range. Wow what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Got some room. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Puts up the tray. Way off target. Goes up for two. Oh, yes. Thinks about the shot. 
That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. They work it around the arc. Jumps into the defender. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't call it the sixth man for no reason. right there trying to play that passing lane anticipated really well great shot let's see if the replay does that any justice defensively down on the low block and there's a steal a oh, terrific job anticipating reading the offense and making that steal their approval. What a response they're getting. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Yes. Two with the charity strike. He's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball in there. He puts up the tray, tickles a twine. <laughs> Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Looking for a good shot. And there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? He shoots from the top of the circle. He buries it from downtown. Moving it around the perimeter. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. There's the trap. Goes for the deep one. Off the rim and no good. He takes the three. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to deal with ease, Brad. The Commodores have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. That he's on fire. He goes for three. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. execution on offense. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes.
close to the free throw line. It goes in. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. This is what I call home court advantage. This is what it's all about. Doesn't go. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. There's a double team waiting there. Tries for two. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Up and in. that good I can't dance like that baby isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper he lets it fly he knocks down another bucket there. this kid's got skills Brad pass now he there's a nice block from behind Dick yeah that's good timing for the defense great play to take that to the basket here's a double team Inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. The ball goes out of play. And a momentary look from three point land. He intercepts it. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. For the bucket, he gets it to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for the foul. Searcy makes the finger roll. They come with a double team to stop it. Daniel comes up with it. Gave it up. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing him in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. They move it up in a hurry. Barry's at home. That's worth another look. The ball goes out of bounds. 
Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. For two, goes. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. In the dying moments. Misses from downtown. At the end of the first half, the Razorbacks are up by 30. Arkansas really did a great job of collecting the boards in the first half, Dick. Hey, collecting the boards and canceling out second chance opportunities? That's how you win ball games, baby. Nick, start of the second half, we take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. I think he's going to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. And the ball goes out of bounds. You know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchups? Here? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He puts up the three ball, sinks it. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. Stolen away. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense. Drains it. That's absolutely sensational, even the second time. When I see those types of things, I just get chilled. Well, wow, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Looking for a good shot. He uses the shot fake. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Looking for contact. Gets it to go. Dion picks up the defensive foul. Four personal foul. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like I am. Problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Dumps it in. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. And the ball goes out of play.
Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Kicking back outside. He throws it up from downtown. He buries the shot. Working it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. Sinks the shot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and they're active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, and an inside presence will separate your team from others. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Double team now, bad angle. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. The Commodores have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He wants a three. He buries it. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He attempts the trifecta. That was nice. That's eight on answer. Picked out of the air. Pushes it up. He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard. Basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when he needed him, baby. Nick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twatting, though. I like it when the team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and walk. Floor. Nick, he's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Up fake. He takes it away. Fast break possibility coming. Tries for two. The land. They scored 13 in a row. On the dribble, gives it up. Pump thinks. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. He hits it. The Razorbacks lead by 20.
There's the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. He blocks the shot. Robs him of the ball. They push it up on the break. Leans in. Vanderbilt are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it up, Brad. Picks off the pass. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little dipsy dude, Dunkaroo. They work the perimeter. The ball goes out of bounds. It around the arc, unloads a three, way off target. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Pull up jumper from way out. He drains the shot. That's a seven nothing run. We're gonna move it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Watch out, five-second call approaching. Great play to take that to the basket. Just about ready for a play to resume. Shoots from left of the circle. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, go the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Tries to get the D to bite. And he'll kick it back outside. Obvious foul. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, I'm standing right behind the bench, and his teammates are trying to get him going. Although they hold the lead, they know their chances of winning without him playing well are very slim. We'll continue to monitor his performance the rest of the way, Brad. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious struggle with their shooting, Brad. Two, perfectly executed. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Great play to take that to the basket. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He hammers it home. Momentary look from three-point land. He unloads. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. The 
There's a double team waiting there. From right in the circle. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Tries for two. They still don't score. Stolen away. Number three is seemingly at an emotional low right now. I hate to see a young man struggle like this. Gets the rejection. Takes away the pass. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He strips him clean. Transition opportunity coming up. Easy one. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He nails the bucket. Shoots from outside. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that jet. Looking for a good shot. And has it rejected. Defense to the pit. With a rejection. Basket falls despite the contact. The Commodores are down by 12. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. Got the shot if he wants it. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He squares up. The swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Perfectly executed. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a first player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. <laughs> Steel, go up the other way, get a layup. For the bucket. Vanderbilt are doing a nice job of putting a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Work it inside and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Look at this, Mr. Nestler. He has a little something for the opposition. That to me is a no-no. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy got inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. The land. That's seven unanswered. The power forward takes the pass. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. The small forward with the ball. He buries the shot. Out of the air. 
The student section is all rallied up and they are ready to battle. Isn't it great, Brad? Looking for a good shot. Strips the ball. And the slam. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He tries the three. Rims out. For two. Finger roll. He strips him clean. Tries for two. Easy one. Fakes a jumper. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. Now they work it around the perimeter. The power forward takes the feed. The ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Work the perimeter from the baseline. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. He intercepts it. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Top of the circle. Gets it to go. Jumps in, and he scores despite the hack. the perimeter for the deuce perfectly executed for that reason right there that's why I love college basketball my goodness it's chaotic in here here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession here, timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. Jumped in front to take it away. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Way out on top, controlling the ball, working it around the perimeter on the outside. He's got an open look for the shot. And the ball goes out of play. He's open if he wants the shot. Ten on the shot clock. Look at that spacing. And a momentary look from three-point land. Let's it fly. Makes the shot. start again. One on the shot clock. Now they work it around the perimeter. He's got some room. 
Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position. The... That layup will count for two plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Makes it. Digger looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. Foul, man. That stops the clock again. Nobody likes this part of the game, but the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. And yet another foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. And the clock stopped with a foul. He steps up to the line. Foul shot, no good. I think right now I've got to focus defensively. He has one and one. Got it. No doubt about it. Well, the lead is 10, Dick. Are you starting to hear the fat lady? Well, Brad, she can be warming up right now. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up. The shooting guard gets the pass. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Steals the pass. The point guard gets the ball. Well, the game's over now. It's easy to look back at your focus player and say that you maybe picked the wrong focus player. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. It's so essential for the star player to really respond. He didn't respond at all in a positive way, and it affected his teammates as well. Arkansas wins in this very competitive outing tonight. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.